Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and for today's video we're gonna play Battle for Middle Earth 1 as a PvP Mordor against Gondor. And I will try to explain you guys also how to play this matchup, alright? Um, Mordor against Gondor is a nice matchup on the map for Tovizen, so we're gonna start with uh, the Orc Pit and also recruit the Hobbit, I mean not the Hobbit, the Golem immediately. We're gonna actually send the Golem straight through the middle in order to catch the enemy uh, Gondor soldiers as soon as possible. And in this matchup, it's very important to survive the early game. This is the most important thing, actually, guys. Because Moro, as a faction, is quite weak early on, alright? Alright, just try to catch them as soon as we possibly can. By the settlements, beautiful. The Orc Pit is almost up on the field, and the Orcs for the Moro faction are obviously for free. We're gonna make some more extra Orcs, and we will be able to see this unit, which is pretty good. Nice, he was going through the middle, which is very good for me. So I can now hit and run all the time, you see? It's all about, it's all about buying time at this point. Alright, so let's go like this. With three orcs, we should be also able to defend ourselves. Against Gondor, you don't want to pick anything just yet. Because if you use the Eye of Sauron too early, uh, he might be easily able to counter that with his own uh, Elven Wood. Because Elven Wood, if you don't know, is nullifying the enemy leadership. In this case, our Eye of Sauron would be completely useless. What we do now is we want to catch them before they reach our site, alright? Let's do that. Make some more workers here. Four more, also here. Okay, now he's running for his life. He's trying to buy some more time. We want to surround him. Just micro around. Like this. And now we can use Eye of Sauron. Because he won't use Elvin Woods here, right? So we can use Eye. There is no reason of using <coughs> Elvin Wood in, a, in an area like this. He won't achieve anything with that. And that's just gonna delay his... Uh, that's just gonna delay his Gandalf to why. That's why at this point of the game he won't be picking the... Just keep chasing now with these units. And we are good to go. Alright, he can't do anything. We have enough money now to buy one more slaughterhouse. And that's what we're gonna do. Beautiful. I mean, he's not doing bad, he won't be able to kill our mills, but he's at least buying some time, delaying our creeps in the meantime. Always around, he, wanna, he will try to kill some workers, I'm fine with that. I mean, I could just micro away with the workers if I want to, but I think it's not necessary at this point. Alright. Let's go like this. And this attack has been successfully defended, beautiful. We're not gonna lose any time, but we're gonna go for the creep here at the left side of the river. Once again, invest the money we got into making more uh, slaughterhouses in our base, which are the main resource building for the modern faction, alright? You wanna creep off the work layers at the same time? So once again, lure the work away with the one battalion of the orcs and surround right after with the other two. And here, we're gonna do the same situation, but we're gonna use the golem for that. Okay, let's go like this. Okay, beautiful. We can actually want make one more slaughterhouse because we're gonna get a lot of money now. Golem has to keep this works busy. Very important. One of them is gonna unfortunately retreat, which is kind of bad. But I think we can still burst it down somehow. Oh, all right. Now our Haradrim Palace is gonna be up on the field. Let's see if he can get this one. Would be nice if he can. He's gonna try to, you know, stealth his hobbit, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. It's not a big deal. So buy the one of this Haradrim. Uh, get the money, very important. We're gonna try to buy the outpost here, okay? Oh, our golem is gonna run it down, unfortunately, but it is how it is. Now we have to defend uh, against this hobbit, but we're gonna try to go for the creep instead, alright? So again, three orcs are more than enough for that. We have enough money to buy one more. And, um, in this matchup, I'm gonna show you guys that Moro doesn't need to play very defensively against Gonzo. If you recruit some of the um, some of the soldiers of Runa as a pikeman unit from the Moro faction, just like the pikeman from Isengard, alright? Okay, Eye of Sauron is almost back up. And now we're gonna use the orcs. Let's go like this. We will be unfortunately able to see 
Oh, wait a second. That's not what I wanted to do. Just around and try to kill this Leon as soon as possible, alright? There we go. It's gonna try to chase us, but it's fine. We have great amount of resources right now. Gonna make some more Easterlings. I mean, uh, sol um, sorry, Haradrims. Okay. And unfortunate. But we got another creep, which is really good. <clears throat> let's make some towers for defense. And let's get some more Easterlings on the field, shall we? So he's doing what he needs to do. He needs to kill our Lamer Mills. This is his goal early on. Let's make a tower right there and right there. So we have some protection in our base. One more Haradrim and then our Haradrim Palace is gonna hit level 2, which is quite nice. Now we can kill this Vorks with the Haradrims from a safe distance and they won't, they won't be able to kill us because they can't. Pretty much, that's how it works. If they are homeless like this, they won't see us. Unless we go really, really close. Okay, let's kill this one. Let's try to keep this unit busy. And industry is gonna be a huge power spike, okay? So buy this. Let's try to buy this one. Maybe we can hack the wall here, so he won't be able to see us even when he comes from this side. And this one we can send as a bait, pretty much, alright? We might buy this outpost if he wants to. I'm fine with that. Okay, let's make another tower here, just for defense. We have now another mill. Make extra workers on that, and then we're gonna just keep moving. Oh, he didn't buy this outpost. I'm fine with that. And he actually never killed this lot house, guys. I mean, this Malon tree, sorry. Now we can buy this outpost, which is gonna be nice for us. He didn't even, cre he didn't even creep this yet. So buy this as soon as possible. And put the Haradrims inside of that, okay? Okay, he lost a lot of his uh, Gondor Knights. He's gonna lose them. We're gonna give I to affect them. And they have a long range, as you can see. He's gonna lose them just like that. Now, with the Haradrims on top of the Citadel, we should be easily able to creep. And with the Easterlings, we should be easily... <laughs> He's complaining about my host. And with the Easterlings, we should be easily able... Um, to fight against the Gondor Knights. Get ready for fighting. So we can also try to get this one. Alright, beautiful. Let's make a orb pit here just to keep up the spam. And in the outpost you want to build this, uh, the furnaces instead. Because they are much tankier. A level 1 furnace for example is 3000 HP. And a level 1 slaughterhouse on the other side is only 1500 HP, alright? You can now just make some more Easterlings like we're gonna do now. Get buff here. Maybe we can move the eye to kill this orcs. We have also now enough power points for the industry. Don't waste any time, but pick up the industry from your spellbook as soon as possible. Wait for the orc to die, and then we can now get out. Grab the money, okay? And we're gonna just spam more and more orcs because, again, they are for free. And the good thing about the motor faction is, if you lose orcs, you're also gonna get power points, which is pretty nice. Okay, get the money, please. Make more orcs from this one, just pressure this area. And then use the runes for harassment. I'm assuming he's going for Gandalf. Let's buy this here. Keep up this pressure also with the orcs. He was able to buy this outpost. He can kill this hobbit even though uh, normally the Haradrims are weak against heroes. But it's a golem after all and he's very squishy as you can see. Now just keep, keep up the pressure. It looks like you want to go for an attack. We need to build some more towers. That's why vision control is very important. And get some more Easterlings on the field for defense. You want to always make sure to have at least one Easterling. Or you know, ideally even two Easterlings in your base. Okay? We can't fight for this outpost at this point. Because he has arches on the field. Which is smart from him. And what we're going to try now. Look, our resources are looking nice. We're going to try to actually get a um, Nazgul on the field, guys. Lord Sauron would be pleased. And this playstyle from Mori is much more aggressive than going for the trolls, because with the trolls at some point of the game, you will lose the entire map control. Alright, as you can see, he's not gonna be able to fight us. So we can just keep pressuring, okay? Offense is most of the time the best defense. We're gonna lose this. Unfortunately, I was not in time to um, demolish this. Use this for this farm, two of them, because orcs are not dealing that much damage to farms, which makes sense because they are for free after all. 
and buy this one here. Beautiful. Okay, he's not paying attention with his Gondor Knights. He might lose them though to our Orcs, imagine. <laughs> and let's try to buy this one. We have almost enough money now for uh, our Nazgul, which is going to be nice. And use also one of them to defend this one, shall we? Okay, let's go like this. We're going to trample them. It's risky for him though, because they're going to act like a, like a pikeman in those kind of situations. We need to demolish this. We can't keep it alive anymore. Just fight for the map control. Use this for with the guard key, which is G on your keyboard, to guard this area automatically, like we're gonna do now also with this. Uh, Easterlings or soldiers of rune. Demolish this in time so he doesn't get power points. And he's going for uh, rangers now, as you will see now yourself, which is smart because he knows with the Gondor Knights he can't achieve something. And I have great amount of resources, guys. We can now at this point of the game just save for the Witch King. This farm has been taken down, don't waste time. Actually, keep up the pressure 24-7, send orcs everywhere, right? That's how you wanna play this matchup. Look how much map control we have as Morda against Gondor, which is quite a lot. Okay, we are also getting more power points. After the Witch King, we will definitely need some trolls on the field. We killed our workers, just make some more. Actually, we can make workers, we have already, you know, look at this, how many we have, also here. But we can also make extra workers here. So the magical number is around 8. When you have 8, it's enough. When you make more than 8, it's kind of overkill because they will be stuck and you won't be able to get money as, you know, faster, pretty much. Okay, we can now also send some of the Lumen Mill workers for scouting purposes around his base. Just why not? Vision control is nice. But I think this is gonna be a mistake from him. They have almost no money for the Witch King. He has also Farami on the field. Buy this to buy some time. The Witch King is going to be very, very, very soon on the field, guys. Oh, he's running it down a little bit into my pikemen. He can't fight this area, especially not without upgrades. Even with upgrades, it's very, very hard. And now we have the money we need for the Witch King. Just going to make sure to make some more towers. Use the industry as soon as it's available. Very important. This farm has been taken down. Let's make a slaughterhouse here instead. Um, and pressure, keep pressuring with the Oryx. Look at the map control we were able to get during this time, which is impressive. We're gonna make some more of these. I don't want to demolish Maharadram Palace, which was doing a nice job for the majority of the game. And with the help of these uh, units, we can actually harass them now with the Oryx. Oryx, they should, can just win against this uh, archers in a second. Archers are very, very vulnerable. We have now enough money for the Troll Cage, and that's gonna be our next building, Troll Cage. Trolls are the main force of the Mortal Faction, just in case you don't know. Keep pressuring, always make sure to surround the farm, and attack it from multiple sides in order to be able to take it down faster. Smart move here from him, using the, you know... You can actually try to disengage with these, maybe. Parami is actually killing them quite fast, but it's fine. He has not even upgrades, so I'm not worried about the potential uh, base rush just yet. And now he will be seeing our Witch King. He might even say GG at this point. Let's see if this is gonna be the case. There comes the Witch King. And we have almost the power points we need. I'm gonna just sacrifice some of the Oryx because we can afford that. Since once again, Oryx... Oh, Gandalf is here. Alright, alright. I see you. I see you, Gandalf tonight. Need to be careful with Gandalf. I don't wanna lose him. My Witch King, I mean. Obviously, Gandalf is under his control. And now we can try to pressure his base with the Witch King and, you know, force his Gandalf to go back. And Witch King is mobile, much faster than Gandalf is, and with that being said, we can always, you know, kind of draw the attention from Gandalf for defense, and that's gonna give us the time we need for uh, the fiesta we're gonna do now, okay? We're gonna, from this outpost, guys, build the Mumakil Pen and the Haradrim Palace. We gotta keep an eye off the, on, the, on the Gandalf. I don't know where Gandalf is. As soon as we see Gandalf, he's coming. But the well is going to be still taken down. And well is going to give us a lot of power points. As soon as we see Gandalf coming, we can always disengage. And that's going to be our plan. Just like that. Run for our lives. And we are good. We are Gucci, alright? Beautiful. He's still chasing us, but it's, it's he can't he can chase us. As, you know, as long as we fly away, keep flying away. Oh, he was able to catch us, actually. Looks like he cancelled the Easter Lights. Keep up the pressure now with this Oryx around this side, shall we? We have lots of Easterlings on the field, we're gonna need them later on. 
And I get some trolls. We have so much money. I want to actually wait for the darkness, guys. Let's make Mumai kills. In order to kill my uh, Witch King, he needs to hit me with Easter Light and also with the Lightning Sword. So as long as we dodge the Lightning Sword, we are fine. Easter Light from Gandalf is an on-hit attack. It can't be missed. But this one is going to be dodged from us. You see? It's easy to predict. It's very hard for Gandalf to hit the... Uh... Oh, look. He's going to lose a lot of units. Easter Light is not going to be able, once again, to do much against us. And when it comes to fly away with the Witch King, we can just disengage now with the Easter Links. Let's not give him more experience as he already has. Send the Orcs inside the Slaughterhouse to make some room for the command points of the Mumma kills. We are just getting more trolls on the field at this point. We have almost a Darkness, guys, which is going to be a huge power spike for our army. Even the Orcs are going to be very, very efficient and strong. And look what I'm doing all the time. I'm always surrounding the farm. Uh, he's trying to chase us. Try to dodge. Alright. Might have his uh, thing back. So we need to be careful about this one. Alright. So the first movement kill is already on the field. We have now darkness. But we're gonna wait for the second one. Just to make sure that we have enough. Uh, if you don't know... Um, Mumai kills are very vulnerable against Faramir and against Rangers. So Faramir's Wanding Arrow is dealing bonus damage to Mumai kills. He has nothing in his base. We are able to see his base with the Lumber Mill Worker we have placed in behind of his base. The Slaughterhouse is going down. Uh, Visa Blast. Nice, nice one, actually, but, you know, it's Oryx he's just killing. Let's pick up the darkness from the Spellbox, shall we? Uh, lots, lots of Easter links. We need one more troll for the troll cage to hit level 2. Send them to the... Uh, trees behind so they can grab a tree afterwards and as soon as the second moment kill is gonna join the fight we are ready to go okay, and the witch king is gonna be always flying around the moment kills in those kind of situations to support them with additional armor and damage leadership which is by the way able to stack with the darkness so our moment kills are not gonna be only one shotting everything they're gonna touch but also they're gonna be become they're gonna become obviously also really really tanky uh, Otherwise, the combination of the Easter Light and also the combination of the Wanding Arrow from Faramir would be just enough to one-shot them. Let's put them on top of the second Mumma kill, shall we? Give them number one and number two. And let's keep now moving forward. He is just attacking us, map, our map control, but I'm fine with that. We have now, during all this time, we're gonna send our Easter Links out to regain the map control. Oh, wait a second, no, that's not what I was to, trying to do. Let's go like this. And because he has to now react to this play, right? He has to react and respect um, our Mumma kills. If he doesn't, he will be doomed. Oh, I went... Oh, he has... He just lost... Uh, I mean, uh, sorry. Can't even talk. He was just uh, using his um, Easter Light to kill our Haradrims. He's gonna kill the Mumma kill pan. I'm fine with that. We have already two of them on the field. Let's see how much work we're gonna be able to do with these. And again... We have uh, the ability available. Use one of them for this farm there. This Haradrim, uh, I mean, this outpost is going to be unfortunately taken down, but it is how it is. Mumma kills, they are quite resistant against this, uh, against this normal towers. Let's use darkness as well. Paramir is coming. Fight for the map control with the runes at the very same time. And look at the damage we are able to deal, guys. That's crazy, right? I like this ones as well. All right. Let's go inside with the one more kill. Look how much we are, how much damage we are able to deal, just like that. And we are a little bit closer with the Witch King, so we have always leadership and try to keep up the pressure also um, with the soldiers of Rune. Okay. We have now the second one. We were able to get this mill back. Don't waste time with the Oryx here and try to go for harassment instead. He has to be careful. We can go for... Oh, I don't know. He wa he doesn't want to go through this one. Okay. Can I please click? Our uh, units on top of the Mumma Kill are also dealing damage, by the way, if you don't know. Look how much damage he's dealing in return, though. They're kind of buggy, though, not gonna lie. 
They are really tanky as you can see. Oh 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 bitch king. If he has the thingy, he can kill us. Look our moment kill in the meantime. The West will fight them all. Oh no bitch king. I was not paying attention guys, sorry for that. So but the thing is reviving Witch King is for free in BFME 1, so we should be good to go. Gandalf is fighting against the Easterlings, taking way too much damage. Darkness is still active and our Mumma kill is still alive, one of them at least. If also one Easterling inside the base and dying slowly to something. But it's shooting at him, I don't know. Kill the stable. It's a level 3 building. He's even gonna use the, the things for that. I'm fine with that. So we need to just now wait for the Witch King to come back. Uh, we were just using industry once again. Let's once again also make some Haradrims on top of the Citadel. Uh, we're not gonna make any more uh, Mumma kills. We don't need them. We have also lots of units here. Let's use them for killing this farm around this side. Oh, we lost the Nazgul. I was not paying attention once again. I'm kind of sad about how I'm playing right now. Not gonna lie. Let's pressure this side, shall we? We have also some more uh, runes inside our base. Fight for the map control once again. Moto is gonna scale quite hard into the mid to late game. Keep up the pressure. He has outpost, one outpost under his control. Uh, coming back now with uh, the Gunsalf. He has some archers around this side as well. Buy this and go back like this. Oh. Okay, we have now enough money also to revive the last remaining Nazgul. So we will have three flying heroes on the field, which is quite nice. Up the pressure with this oryx just make more and more oryx 24 is 7 demolish so he doesn't get power points for eagles because we have no counterplay right now to eagles and i'm assuming he's really close because losing mumai kills was giving him a bunch of power points you are able to kill the blacksmith actually with this runes which is interesting <laughs> i was not expecting that oh, he might go for a visa blast let's try to dodge this one. Oh, oh we are walking into it oh that's bad that's very very bad Keep, keep up the pressure 24 7 now put this haradrims on top of this actually we can now also make potential uh, we need to make a drama troll first we forgot about this one from the troll cage level 2 let's make the mumma kill again just tr to trigger him to deal with more mumma kills we have enough power points now for the devastation when we need but at this point of the game we want to try to save uh, for you know for the for the balrog summon okay so the Nazgul can't really do much. Now our next attack is going to include trolls. And once again, we want to ideally wait for the Witch King to come back. Because Witch, Witch King is offering us great leadership. We don't want to miss uh, in those kind of big fights. We don't want to miss that. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Appreciate that. Okay, Muma kill. I mean, not Muma kill, sorry. Uh, let's grab the three. Drama Troll is now on the field. Make some party for us. Keep up the pressure all the time. All the time. That's how you want to play that. Gonna wait for the Witch King. He's almost back up. Uh, let's make one Mumma kill from this one. Just why not? Keep making more and more orcs. He was not even touching our base so far. Which is good for us. Does every one of them have? Yes. They have all the trees. And let's move with them also to the top side, shall we? And we can now make some more runes just to be able to refine for the map control because we keep losing them, but it's fine. But we are keeping the opponent always busy. We have lots of orcs here to send them forward. Uh, Mumma kill is going to be there very soon, as well as the Witch King. And then we are ready to go. We are ready to rock. Okay. Oh, he's going to put some rangers inside. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you want to kill my? <laughs> you want to kill my worker? I'm gonna kill these rangers because that's the worst thing that you can do actually, you know? Okay, let's go. See now what's gonna happen to these rangers, please. It's fine, we have another one there. Okay. He needs to come back now. Let's fight for this one in the meantime. And we have one Mumma kill already on the field. Put some things inside. We have also trolls coming as you can see. 
and keep up the pressure with the orcs, shall we? And send three of them to this farm right there. Pressure this farm as well with the Nazgul. And keep pressuring, keep pressuring, keep pressuring. Let's just hope that he has not the power points he needs for the Eagles. That would be a disaster and we would be losing everything that we have. It would be an absolute clown fiesta. He's not even trying to save this. He's killing our orcs 24-7, so getting a lot of power points, actually. Okay, let's move forward like this with the Mumma kill and with the Witch King. We have also Darkness back up. The game continues. We are in a good spot, I would say, money-wise. We have lots of money. We can actually invest. We are cash rooting too much. Industry is available now, pr probably for a long time. We have to use it one more time. The farm is going down slowly but surely, just like that. Beautiful. And he was not able to pressure us just yet. Okay, the farm is down. Let's also focus on this farm, shall we? Uh, he has to be careful with the with the heroes. And there comes the eagles. But now I'm gonna show you guys how to deal with the eagles, okay? Oh! <laughs> He's playing with fire. <laughs> uh, he didn't know how to kill the eagles. Uh, he was surprised how his eagles are dying. The way you want to kill the eagles is you can target them directly with the Muma kill, you know? He's gonna call it GG. But you can target them with the Nazgul and you select the Muma kill at the same time. This way you can right click on the Muma kill, I mean on the eagle, and the Haradrims on top of the Muma kill are gonna this way target the eagle. And with this match leadership with Eye of Sauron, Witch King Darkness, they're gonna kill these eagles in time. I think this game is over now. I don't see him winning this one anymore. Maybe he will try to fight, but it is over. GG well played. That was... I was not able to get the Balrog just yet, but you could see you have like a little bit understanding now about how this matchup works. It is winnable for both the sides. I had a host advantage definitely, so his micro was not that great. You know, when you are not on host and beef me one, it's kinda difficult. But also the more aggressive playstyle from the Mortal Faction with the Haradrims, with the runes to keep up the map control and to actually, you know, get great amount of resources. I hope this was enjoyable for you guys to watch and kinda educational as well. Hope to see you next time. If this was helpful as a moral guide, please make sure to leave a like, comment below what do you guys think about this matchup and see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace guys.